Eric Ten Hag could unleash Manchester United upgrade Kabi Mainu will love versus FC Twente. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag could deploy a new-look midfield for the first time versus FC Twente. With the length of Manchester United's injury list decreasing, the selection dilemmas Eric Ten Hag is facing are becoming all the more frequent. Following the returns of Mason Mount and Rasmus Hodgelund to the matchday squad against Crystal Palace on Saturday, United's injury list now stands at just four players, making it the shortest it has been for some time. As big a positive as that is for Ten Hag, it does make the challenge of choosing his starting eleven all the more complicated. Nevertheless, it is a puzzle he will only be too happy to have. Ahead of tonight's Europa League opener against FC Twente at Old Trafford, it could be argued that only the defense will pick itself. Matthijs de Ligt and Lisandro Martinez have formed a solid bond in the heart of the back four, and Nusser Mazraoui and Diogo Dalo are currently the only senior fullbacks available. In midfield, however, Ten Hag is spoilt for choice, with up to seven players probably all of the opinion they are worthy of a starting berth. The Dutchman has named the exact same midfield trio for United's last two league games, but decided to mix it up for last week's 7-0 win over Barnsley in the Carabao Cup. Either side of that demolition, Ten Hag deployed Christian Eriksen, Kabi Mainu, and Bruno Fernandes as a trio for the Premier League tussles with Southampton and Crystal Palace. It means Manuel Ugarte is yet to make his full league debut for the club. The Uruguayans' only start for United so far was in the aforementioned victory over Barnsley, in which he joined forces with Casemiro and Eriksen in the middle. In the long run, it is expected he will be drafted into United's first-choice midfield, alongside Menu and Fernandez. On paper, a trio of Ugarte, Menu and Fernandez offers a blend of defensive nows, aggression, control and creativity, with the former providing a much-needed sense of steel and grit in the engine room. Casemiro was previously United's destroyer-in-chief, but his sharp decline left the club with no choice but to turn to Ugarte in the summer. As mentioned, it is expected Ugarte will eventually be embedded within United's first-choice midfield and join forces with Maynou and Fernandez. Maynou has become a staple in Ten Hag's thinking since making his first team breakthrough last year and has gradually established himself as a forward-thinking, progressive midfielder, meaning he needs someone alongside him who will hold their position and provide a layer of protection. Despite Maynou openly admitting Paul Scholes would have been his dream midfield partner, a source told the Manchester Evening News earlier this year that the England international loves to play with Casemiro because his defensive discipline allows him to express himself and get up the pitch. Ugarte, of course, has been brought to Old Trafford to succeed Casemiro. Ugarte's hunger for a tackle and to win the ball back means he could prove to be Maynou's ideal partner. So far, the duo are yet to start alongside each other, with Maynou playing no part in the recent triumph over Barnsley. However, that could all change this evening, of course. To combat the number of games United are having to deal with, Ten Hag is likely to rotate his pack in places, but he will also, sooner rather than later, want to experiment with what could soon become his first-choice midfield. With Maynou having not had the license to get on the ball and progress up the pitch in recent months because of complex issues in midfield, Ugarte could provide him with exactly what he has been missing. Eric Ten Hag could unleash a tactical upgrade in Manchester United's lineup that young Kabi Maynou will thrive in during their upcoming match against FC 20. With Maynou's impressive performances in training and his ability to adapt quickly, Ten Hag sees him as a key player for this fixture. Maynou's style complements the fluid, possession-based approach Ten Hag has instilled in the team. Known for his vision and passing ability, the young midfielder can seamlessly fit into a more dynamic role, providing both defensive support and offensive creativity. Fans and pundits are excited about the prospect of seeing Maynou feature prominently, especially given his potential to influence the game from the midfield. He's shown incredible maturity for his age, Ten Hag noted in a press conference. 
Kabi has the skill set to make an impact, and we believe he can help control the tempo against FC Twente. With Mainu likely to be given the opportunity to shine, many are eager to see how he can elevate the team's performance and further establish himself as a rising star at Manchester United. Lenny Yoro returned date target as star makes transfer claim. Manchester United faced Twente in the Europa League on Wednesday night as Eric Ten Hag hopes to get back to winning ways following the Red Devils' goalless draw with Crystal Palace. Manchester United get their European campaign underway on Wednesday evening when they welcome Eric Ten Hag's side former team FC Twente to Old Trafford. The Eredivisie team were the first and last side in the Dutchman's playing career as he made 188 appearances across two spells with the club. Ten Hag would have preferred to draw anyone else rather than host old friends, however. I would have preferred to play against somebody else, it's not nice to hurt something you love, he said ahead of the game. Of all the teams, Twente is the team I follow the most. I watch them as a fan, as a supporter, not as an analyst. It's a different way of watching their games. Twente brought me a lot. I was put through their academy, so for me, great deal of history there. United's boss will rely upon the same squad as against Crystal Palace and is unable to welcome back any more injured players for the Europa League clash. Mirror Football takes a look at the news surrounding the club ahead of the game. Lenny Yoro, the promising young star, has set his sights on a return to action after a frustrating injury layoff. Following a successful rehabilitation period, Yoro is targeting a comeback by the end of next month. I feel ready to contribute again and I'm determined to help the team as soon as possible," he shared during a recent interview. As Yoro trains hard to regain his fitness, speculation about his future is heating up. Reports suggest that several top clubs are monitoring his progress, eager to secure the talented midfielder's services. I've heard the rumors, but my focus is solely on getting back on the pitch, Yoro remarked. I love this club and want to give my all for the fans. His return could not only boost the team's performance, but also raise his market value, making the coming weeks critical for both his development and the club's ambitions. As he continues to work diligently, Yoro remains optimistic about what lies ahead, both for his career and his team. Lenny Yoro, the promising young star, has set his sights on a return to action after a frustrating injury layoff. Following a successful rehabilitation period, Yoro is targeting a comeback by the end of next month. I've been working hard every day to get back to full fitness, he said in a recent interview. I can't wait to rejoin my teammates and contribute to the team's success. His enthusiasm is matched by the coaching staff, who have been impressed with his dedication throughout the recovery process. Yoro's absence has been felt, as his creativity and vision on the pitch are crucial to the team's attacking dynamics. As he focuses on his comeback, speculation about his future continues to swirl. With his talent catching the eye of several top clubs, Yoro remains focused on his current team. I'm committed to giving my all here. Right now my priority is to help us win games, he stated. Fans eagerly await his return, hoping it will coincide with a surge in form for the team. As the target date approaches, anticipation builds, both for Yoro's comeback and the impact he can make in the season's crucial final stretch. As Lenny Yoro focuses on his comeback, speculation about his future continues to swirl. His impressive performances prior to the injury have caught the eye of several top clubs eager to secure his signature. However, Yoro remains grounded, prioritizing his commitment to his current team. I'm grateful for the interest, but my sole focus is on getting back on the pitch and helping my teammates, he said. I know how much we can achieve together, and that's what drives me every day. His determination is evident in training, where he pushes himself to regain his sharpness and fitness. Coaches and teammates have noticed his positive attitude and leadership, which are vital as the team navigates a challenging season. Fans are excited about the prospect of Yoro returning to action, hoping his creative flair can spark a turnaround in the team's performance. As the comeback date draws nearer, Yoro is ready to prove that he's back and more determined than ever to make an impact.